In today's busy ERCP lab, the need for instruments that perform effectively as well as economically is an established criterion. Olympus has the answer to both these requirements and more with their mechanical lithotriptor. The Olympus mechanical lithotriptors, models BML3Q and 4Q, have been designed for endoscopic crushing of biliary calculi and facilitates easy insertion with superb grasping capabilities. Mechanical lithotripsy has proved to be a beneficial therapeutic modality in the treatment of common bile duct stones. I'm Dr. Jerome Siegel, and I will demonstrate the proper use of the Olympus mechanical lithotriptor. The mechanical lithotriptor is comprised of four components. A handle, a coil sheath, a Teflon sheath, and a disposable basket. After a sphincterotomy has been performed, the lithotripsy procedure may begin. The operation of the mechanical lithotriptor contains five simple steps. Insertion, securing or noosing the calculus, sliding of the coil sheath, crushing the calculus, and withdrawing the lithotriptor upon completing the procedure. An additional feature on model BML3Q is the ability to infuse contrast medium through the lure lock fitting. Fully raise the forceps elevator of the endoscope. Loosen the knob of the slide region on the coil sheath. Slide it as far towards the proximal end as it will go, and then secure it by tightening the knob. While observing, carefully insert the lithotriptor into the instrument channel with the basket in a completely closed position until the basket tip hits the forceps elevator. If the lithotriptor encounters resistance during insertion, do not force it. Relax the endoscope's angulation mechanism until the lithotriptor sheath can be passed smoothly. Hold the lithotriptor close to the channel when inserting. Lower the forceps elevator when the basket tip touches the forceps elevator. Carefully protrude the Teflon sheath out of the endoscope approximately three centimeters. Raise the forceps elevator to bring the basket tip into view. Further advance the Teflon sheath carefully. While observing the duodenal papilla through the endoscope, insert the Teflon sheath tip through the papilla into the bile duct by operating the endoscope's angle controls and the forceps elevator. If abnormal resistance is encountered and insertion becomes difficult, lower the forceps elevator. Advance the Teflon sheath a little, and then operate the forceps elevator again. Grasp the calculus by opening and closing the basket. If the opening or closing movement of the basket is difficult, do not apply excessive force. Instead, relax the distal end of the endoscope until the basket can be moved with ease. The opening and closing movement of the basket is controlled by pushing or pulling the holder of the BML handle. Lower the forceps elevator. Loosen the knob of the slide region of the coil sheath. As you are slowly inserting the coil sheath, gradually slide the knob of the slide region by pulling the Teflon sheath into the coil sheath. If the slide movement of the coil sheath encounters resistance, do not force it. Relax the endoscope's angulation mechanism until the device can be passed smoothly. To perform this operation, cooperation between the endoscopist and an assistant is necessary. Ensure that all personnel involved are familiar with the procedure. 
visually confirm that the Teflon sheath is fully covered by the coil sheath. Then, push the knob of the slide region into the groove closest to the distal tip and securely fasten the coil sheath by tightening the knob. Confirm that the knob of the slide region is securely placed in the groove and fully tightened. If the tube sheath is not fully covered by the coil sheath, it may be damaged when crushing a stone, thus preventing the Teflon sheath from being drawn into the coil sheath. While grasping the calculus, turn the rotatable knob of the lithotripter handle in the direction of the arrow, or in a clockwise movement and the basket will crush the calculus. Do not rotate the knob vigorously. Once the basket is tightened down on the stone, crushing is best done by turning the knob and holding it for a few seconds, continuing to turn and hold until the stone is crushed. Remove the lithotripter from the endoscope with the basket in a closed position. To retrieve the crushed calculus, an assortment of retrieval devices or balloons may be used. I find mechanical lithotripsy using the Olympus BML 3Q and 4Q lithotriptors to be the method of choice for crushing bile duct calculi. I hope you find this video helpful in illustrating the ease of insertability, operation, and grasping capabilities. The instruction manual is invaluable for staff training and should be retained for future reference. This manual is not intended to teach medical technique. The use of the BML 3Q and 4Q requires as a preceding condition surgical backup against an emergency in the event that endoscopic lithotripsy is unable to be performed.